Hi everyone, um, welcome to Changing Mindset channel. Um, today we want to talk about the difference between Ghana and Togo and also the similarities. Um, you know, Ghana and Togo is um, two neighboring countries, two West African countries. And so they have a lot of things in common. And today I have here with me my brother Jake, who has vast experience in, I mean, living in these two countries. And so he's coming to share his experience with us. Um, Jake, I want to ask, welcome, first of all, welcome to um, Changing Mindset channel. Thank you, Randy. Yes, yeah, so what's your general impression about Ghana and Togo? General impression. Let's say you want, you have to describe these two countries to someone who has not been here before. What can you say about these two countries? Bonjour, chers spectateurs, et bienvenue à cette édition. So the first, what I said is in French, okay? okay? So the first thing that comes to mind when you talk about Togo is their language. Mm -hmm. They speak French. Here in Ghana, we speak English. Okay. Yes, so that is it. All right, so you talk about the language, okay. So how about the people? Are they welcoming um, if you compare the two? Yes, I would say Togolese are very welcoming. Um, I went there as a Ghanaian and um, because I'm an ever, I was mm. able to integrate into their society. Okay. They are very welcoming. You know, they consider Ghana as a bigger country, okay? Mm. And so most Togolese would like to associate with you knowing that you are from yes. Ghana. They, they see Ghana as a as a nice place, okay, okay. and so, so when you say you are yes, when you say you are Ghanaian, everybody wants to get closer yeah. and get that feeling, that yeah. experience with you. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you. Now let's look at the educational system. Um, our focus is on the tertiary because you okay. were in the tertiary in Togo and then you also studied in Ghana. And um, what what can you say about the educational system in these two countries? That is, um, let's say, let's talk about uh, infrastructure and then how students are treated. Of course, Togo is um, it's not that developed as Ghana, so when you talk about the infrastructure, you could see that um, the and let me compare the two national um, universities. Okay. Talking about Legon and AS is called Université de Lomé. Okay. So um, when you go to Legon, you know the infrastructure there is very yeah, beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful and serene. Yes, so it's not the case in Togo because they don't have much facilities there. No, okay. Yes. Okay. But one thing I like about them is how they treat their students. So once you are admitted, Okay. in that university yeah. you are qualified to to get allowances every okay. every semester wow okay it's something the government gives just to encourage students to to wow. go to school and they also have this bus system okay, okay. they have buses at various locations where okay. students can board for free for and free go, yes for free and go for lectures and wow. then it brings you back when when you close so wow. though they don't have money okay mm. they are not that developed but then those little things in place make education mm. in togo very attractive okay. Okay. and you don't find those in ghana i mean uh, i mean the allowance and then the yeah. passing system no, sometimes i see the passes but i think it's for one particular or another and i don't know no, um, no, no. Yeah. For Togo is for everybody. Okay. Everybody. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now let's look at the uh, cost of living uh, in these two countries. What can you say about cost of living, Ghana and Togo? Cost of living. Let me say, um, uh, um, Togo is much, much cheaper. Mm -hmm. Living in Togo is cheaper than living in, in Ghana. Okay. okay. When I take Lome and Accra, it's just like someone in the in the village and someone in the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for accommodation, Togolese accepts from three to, to six months payment. Okay. okay. Here in Ghana, if you want to rent and you don't have two years, mm -hmm. you can't get a good accommodation. So yeah. yeah. And when it when it comes to food, food are cheaper in, in Lome than Accra. And then also clothing. When you talk about clothing, you know most of our jeans are from mm -hmm. Togo. Yeah, Togo of course, yeah, Togo jeans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you understand. So it's much cheaper there than yeah. um, here okay. in Ghana. All right. So thank you so much, Jake. Um, now let's look at the security system, the, the police being our focus. How do you? How how? What can you say about the police in Togo and then the police in Ghana? Is there some similarities or there's a vast difference between how they operate? I would say um, 
there is a vast difference in terms of discipline okay mm. um the togolese police is is very very disciplined okay? okay and so you don't see them in traffic trying to take one one cd mm. or, or me from me if i know um and so when when a policeman stops you in Lomi, okay you have to stop okay. you don't have to look for a parking space and and the policeman has to walk okay. to you just as we experience in ghana now wherever the policeman stops you uh, in togo that is you stop on the spot okay and you come out of your car to meet him mm. all right for him to do his check okay. so i'm yeah. tempted to ask a question what if it's a highway or what if it's a road a busy road and then the police stop you you definitely have to pack well so that you can interact with the police you cannot just park in the middle of the road and interact with the police what is it that they park in the middle of the road or they pack well and then interact with the police. Okay, so they have these police checkpoints. Okay. 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 In town. Okay, okay, everywhere in town. So as you are driving, you know, mm -hmm. in two minutes time, you yeah, there is a, a yes a checkpoint. Okay. So once you get there, and then, and, and he has noticed something about your vehicle and wanting to stop you. So as soon as you, they normally will use a whistle. So once you hear the whistle, that means you have to stop. Okay, thank you for clarifying that. Now let's look at the housing system because I know in Ghana we have some posh areas, I mean some expensive areas where you see some really really nice buildings. I'm talk of East Legon, Airport Hills, Airport Residential Area, Kasako, and some part of Tema. You see that they, I mean the place is well demarcated, well planned, and but then that is for them. When you go to the majority part, I mean in, in Ghana, you see that houses are crowded um, no planning at all i want to ask is it the same thing in togo when you went there how do you see the housing system i mean was it well planned or is it just like that okay randy before i talk about their housing system let me chip in this okay. uh, something i noticed about okada system once we are talking okay. about police yeah, uh, let's yeah. talk about the okada system here okay. you know togo leaves okada okay mm. they call them zemijan Okay, they, they are very disciplined, Randy. Very disciplined. Okay. They respect the traffic light. They don't drive recklessly as we experience here in Ghana. Okay. And, you know, their main means of transportation is the Zemi Janda, is the Okada. Okay. And so hardly would you hear accidents, okay, motor mm. accidents, okay, because they respect the rules, okay, okay. they respect the traffic light. And, wow. yeah, it makes. That is the difference, yeah. If I may say, in regards to the Okada, yeah, the, the yeah, motor rider, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, and let's so, come to the housing, yeah. Talking about housing system, what I've noticed in Lome is that um, most, most of the, most houses are well demarcated, okay. You could see the demarcation there, though you don't have these beautiful buildings like okay. East Legon, mm -hmm. like uh, the estates, okay. Yeah. But then the they have a world structure system okay. where people don't just build okay. anyhow it doesn't it doesn't matter the area okay it doesn't matter the neighborhood everybody has to build in a certain environment okay with demarcation to gutters road okay so they don't build in waterlogged areas yeah. they don't build on the road okay and so um, Everything is well organized there. Uh, I, I bet you one day you should try and visit. Yeah, Lomi I will. And I will. You will like it. Yes, I will. And, I will. and something about the Agatha is Randy. Yeah. It's it's all covered. If wow. they want to to do gutters, okay, then they will cover it after all. Mm. Okay, it's not like here. Yeah, you see, we do gutters, we do road, we leave it. Okay, in a deplorable condition. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Once it's covered, you see people cannot throw rubbish in there, mm -hmm. okay, because yeah. it's covered. Yeah. But here we leave it open so people can throw yeah. so rubbish in it. Talk of rubbish. Um, do they have dustbins along the road? In you know, Ghana, it's very difficult to locate a dustbin. But I mean, so do they have such, or is just like Ghana? Uh, it's not just like in Ghana, but. Um, you see, Ghana, we are even privileged to have the Zoom Lion thing around. They don't have that, but then everybody, people don't just throw things yeah. anyhow. I would say it's, 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 it's the attitude, it's the mentality. Mm. They don't have the facilities, okay, but then they don't just throw rubbish anyway. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
so thank you so much jake for spending this time with us talking about ghana and then togo but before you go i want you to tell us uh, if someone is listening from u.s someone's listening from europe and they want to visit africa um would you want i mean would we recommend that they visit ghana or togo i mean just message for our audience okay for those listening to us you know i'm from ghana and um Ghana is a peaceful country when it comes to um, where to live. Comparing okay. Ghana to Togo, I, I think I would I would recommend people to visit Ghana okay. um, because here we have the freedom of speech. Okay, mm -hmm. um, but it's not the case in Togo. Okay, okay. you can't just sit on radio and, yeah, and say anything yeah. anyhow. Yeah, okay. yeah. The system is not like ours. Okay. Yeah. And so, but then one thing also, okay, about Togo, which I like very much, is their free port around it. Mm -hmm. um, it's not all that free, but the levies in Ghana are too much. Okay. okay. So something that a car that Togolese will charge a duty of, of let's say, um, if Ghana is charging 30,000, then Togo will charge like 10,000. Yes, or even less than that. So, yeah. But that is a trend. Okay. All right. So thank you so much, Jake, for joining us today uh, for this discussion. I hope you also enjoyed um, listening to Jake. So before we go, kindly subscribe to this channel and also share the video. <laughs>